Hi folks, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you a couple of common gotchas with the gallery control in a Power Apps Canvas app and how to work around them. I've created a new Canvas app here in a blank screen. If you want to learn more about how to get started with this, check out the video above. But what I'm going to do here is insert a new gallery control. I'll choose the vertical one. And then I'll hook it up to data. I've got the context table in the Dataverse, so I'll choose that. This part isn't so important. You can be pulling data from any other source, whatever you have, but this is the setup I already have going, so this is pretty easy. All right, now if you don't already have the tree view selected over on the left, make sure you do that. That'll make this a lot easier. So we have labels for the customer's full name as well as the email, and maybe you want to add another one for phone number. So maybe what you do is select the gallery, and you add label thinking that's going to end up in the gallery and it even kind of looks like it is. So maybe you're down here and you say, okay, this should be this item dot, and then you're looking for phone number, kind of how it works on the other ones. So this is this item dot email, but this new label here just doesn't quite seem to work the same way. But if you look over on the left, our label is not actually nested under the gallery. It's up at the screen level. So even though it kind of looks like it is, the gallery is not its parent control. Now I'm not aware of a way to drag and drop this down or move down. So I'm just going to delete this and we will start over. What you want to do is select the first item under gallery one here. And then with that selected, try again to insert your label. And this time you'll see that it's nested under gallery, which means that you can get the this item functionality, business phone, and that's working just fine. So that's the trick here. Have the first item selected in the gallery, and then you can insert things, and those will get nested under the gallery control. Okay, I'll go ahead and delete this again, and let's talk about the next thing that you might run into issues with, and that's copying and pasting. So say that you've got this label here for email, and you formatted it just the way you want it. Let's say this is size 14 on the font, and it's bold, and you've got some kind of color here. Maybe it aligns with one of your brand colors. We'll just go with a blue. But whatever it is, you've gotten this label just the way you want it, and you don't want to have to start over by creating a new label from scratch. You want to be able to just copy and paste this. So if you were to right-click this and say Copy, and then once again, kind of naively selecting the gallery up here, right-clicking and say paste, you'll see again that doesn't get nested under the gallery control and you're getting this error up here because the select parent or this item or whatever you're trying to put in here is not picking up things from the gallery. So let me delete this one again. I'll just right-click on that and delete and we'll try this again. I'll right-click on the email label over here and say copy and then with the first item in the gallery selected I will right-click and say paste and that'll drop it inside of the gallery control. It's on top of that other one there. So if I drag that down, then we could update this to be business phone or whatever attribute you want there. So that's it, a short and sweet video, but hopefully that helps if you're facing that issue with the gallery control in a Canvas app. If you found this helpful, you might enjoy other videos from my playlist, so check those out. And also consider subscribing to be notified when I upload other Power Apps content. Thanks so much for watching.